Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you join queries. Let's see the implementation of joins. I have employee table and department table. If I execute this, I have the information about employee, information about the department. Department ID is foreign key in this employee table. Now let me go for inner join first. So how do I write the query? I will say select employee table dot employee ID comma tbl underscore employee table dot employee table dot employee name comma tbl underscore employee table dot employee gender that's it I want from employee table now next what I want is from department table I want the department name and from department table I want HOD name so the columns that I need from two tables are from employee table I need employee ID employee name employee gender and from department table I need department name and the HOD now how do I write the query from left table left table is nothing but tbl underscore employee what type of join I want to write I'll write inner join inner join right table right table is department now I'm joining on what column I'll write on tbl employee dot department ID equals to tbl department dot department ID. I'll execute this. I should get the information from both the tables. So this is what I get. I get employee ID, employee name, employee gender, department name and HOD. Now if you observe I do not get the records of those employees whose department ID is null. So there are 10 records and employee 10 and employee 5 has got their department ID as null. So I do not get that records. I get only 8 records. If you observe in the department table, I won't get the information about HR. I do not have the information about HR. This is your inner join. If I go for left order join, so what is left order join? We saw in our earlier video. Left order join is nothing but I get all the records from left table and match records from right table. I'll execute this. I got all the records from left table. Even I got Libby and Javi with department name and HOD as null. So this is your left order join. Instead of left order join, if I write right order join and execute this, I get all the records from right table. Even I got HR. Even though there is no employees who belongs to HR, but I got that record with employee ID, employee name, and gender as null. Finally, if I write full order join, I'll get all the records from both the tables. So this is your full outer join. So very simple. You have inner join, left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. Now let's do one enhancement here. See uh, whenever I want to refer to this table employee what normally I am doing I am referring it with the help of TBL employee complete table name. Now I want to alias the table name. So I'll say from TBL employee as E. Now E means 
table employee department as d now d means department table i don't need as i think here employee e and department d now instead of tbl employee i'll say e dot employee id i'll say e dot employee name and i'll say e dot employee gender then i'll say d dot department name and d dot hod now my query looks little bit simpler and here i'll say e dot department id is equals to d dot department id execute this this looks little bit simpler so we call it as table aliasing now e acts as employee table and d acts as department table now even i can write some group by clauses on joins now my group by concept remains same now what i want here is i want the department name and number of employees in the department in our earlier video we saw department id and number of employees in the department now department id and employees both of them belongs to the same table so we do not require join whereas here department name and number of employees now number of employees i can get it from employee table and department name i, I can get it from department table so i need to write join now i'll say department name comma count of e dot employee id as number of employees now these things remain same finally i need to write group by d dot department name because i have one column and another aggregate function so always i need to group it by column let me execute this that's it in null department you have two employees in development department we have four employees in hr department we do not have any employee in testing department we have four employees because it is full auto join i get the full result instead of full auto join if i write inner join i would be getting the information about two departments only because inner join is one which works only on matching records i get development and testing i have four in development four in testing so you can use group by order by where clause having clause as usual that we have used whenever we were writing queries on a single table so whenever you want to write the queries on multiple table even in that situation you can use the same things whereas this center part remains same so this is all about your joins thank you very much